Did you see or see a uh, sharing of the pandemic uh, conspiracy theory video? Yeah, uh -huh. I read about it. I didn't watch it, but I know all about it. Yeah. 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 So um, conspiracy theories. Yeah. So the New York Times does a great in-depth uh, story by Shira Frankel, Ben Decker, and Davy Alba on how it spread, on how that that video went viral. Um, I had seen it on on in my Facebook feed, and some people that I know uh, had shared it. Um, but so what they did with the article, they they compared the how the pandemic video. Uh, uh, compared to other videos that went viral or any other con content that went viral during the same period. And so on Facebook, Plandemic was liked, commented on, or shared nearly 2.5 million times. Wow. And that's compared to, to uh, uh, Taylor Swift's May 8th announcement about her City Lover concert, which plateaued at about 11, 110,000 interactions on Facebook. And then there was the Office reunite on Zoom for a wedding, uh, which was posted on May 10 and reached 618,000 interactions. And the Pentagon had released videos, UFO videos, on April 27 and had one, 1 million interactions. So comparatively, that's how they stacked up. They also had a timeline of how, how it went viral. So it was first posted in a QAnon Facebook group of 25,000 members, QAnon is this lunatic right-wing conspiracy group. Um, and then more than 1,500 of those members shared the video to their networks. Then there is a, a, a physician named Dr. Christiane Northrup, who is a celebrity physician. She's a vaccine skeptic, and she sh shared it on her Facebook page, and more than 1,000 of her followers shared it, many of them to anti-vaxxer groups. And then the video was posted to Reopen Alabama Facebook group, which had more than 36,000 followers. And that's part of a network of Reopen, insert your state here, uh, groups that's organized uh, by, by right-wing AstroTurf group. Uh, and that spread to, to um, the political realm. There's a guy named Nick Catoni, I think is how I pronounce it. He's a professional mixed martial arts fighter, uh, celebrity, prominent anti-vaxxer. Um, he shared it with his 70,000 followers on Facebook. And then a candidate for, Ohio, for the Ohio Republican Party primary, she lost. Her name is Melissa Atkinson, shared it to her 20,000 Facebook followers. And then by then it went mainstream in, the, in BuzzFeed and it was reporting on it and fact-checking it, debunking it. But you can see how it goes from conspiracy, major lunatic fringe conspiracy theory groups to other interested anti-vaxxers, politi politi political groups, et cetera, et cetera. So it's a good long read. We'll put a link to it in the show notes.